In this video, we're going to take a look at the Kenworth W900A by Classic. Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we're having a look at an oldie but a goodie, the Kenworth W900A and this is the latest version of the Kenworth W900A and uh, this was done by Classic. Now it was sent to me and I did verify that all of the actual uh, original modders of this mod have been given credit and so therefore uh, he has the permission to add these extra items on and, and make this an up-to-date and better mod. So let's dive in and check it out. Well, first of all, off in the customized configuration, having a look at the cabins. So we do have a day cab, uh, then we have the flat top, the double bunk. Double bunk, yes, we'd like to change that. There we go, double bunk. And then there is the double eagle. Uh, not sure why it's called a double eagle, but maybe there's two eagles that fit inside there. I don't know. Um, I'm going to put on that double eagle. I want to see those two eagles inside there. Now, uh, over to the chassis. Now, there is uh, a whole heap of different chassis you can choose. Now, this is going to change the cabin. All right, so if we go and flip this over. There you go. There's your day cab there. Uh, then we've got the standard 6x4. We've got the 6x4 long color. See, it's standard. Uh, there's a color. And then there is also the long. If we go to the color here, we can actually change this to blue. And you can see it changes the chassis as well, just to prove to you that it does do color. And then we have the 6x4 large. And then there is the 6x4 L color. L color. Um, so it's the large with the color is pretty much it. So let's go back here and I'm going to put on the eagle. And we'll go back. We're going to leave it on the large 6x4 and see how we go. Now, over to the engines, there is... We've got a few choices here. We've got a DD8V71, 375 horsepower. Then we've got the DD8V92, 375 horsepower. The Caterpillar 3408. And the Big Cam 370. That there is one that I'm very interested to have a look at. But some very good engines and very popular engines. Uh, in here that uh, we really don't see a lot of but I'm glad that they put it in this mod so we're gonna start with this one and we'll come back and have a look at these later now transmissions uh, only a few transmissions to choose from uh, we have got spices and the, the uh, RTLO so the Eaton Fuller uh, transmissions there so Spicer 10 speed there's a 10 speed with retarder then there's the 18 speed Spicer and then we have the 13 speed Eaton Fuller and there is also another 13 speed with a different diff ratio. Uh, I'm going to go with my favorite, which will be the 18 speed. And uh, it, is an, uh, it is a spicer, but that's fine. Now, the interior. There is no other interiors to choose from. However, this is the original interior that has been around for donkeys. Originally in 18 wheels of steel, uh, exported to, I believe it was Euro Trucks. And now and then to American trucks and now it is has been updated with a whole heap of other extras so uh, looks good and I think it's actually still it's you know been been blah, it's kept its uh, looks and it really does look great so um, it's good to see it really is let's move on before I get even more tongue-tied now for the paint jobs uh, let's check out the paint jobs here. We, you can go basically any color that you can choose there with the first one. So that's that's really cool. Then you've got your blacks, your blues, your, your deep scarlets, aquamarines, you know, greens, whites, grays, you know, the usual. And then we have some of these custom skins. Now, one of the things I like to do with custom skins is I like to check out to see what you can do. And as you can see here, you can change a lot of this stuff, which is really, really good. And then that line there, you can also change that as well. So that's really good that you can actually change that. Uh, there's another one there. Again, you can change all of the colors. Uh, same with that one there. You can change all of the colors. Looks very nice. Really does. And there we go again. So these skins there, that looks like a HHA one, um, skin there that does. Uh, old school 2, there's an old school 3 there, 
All of these you can change the colors. Another old school, very nice looking, I think it is anyway. And there is your custom metallic. Now, uh, you know, guys, I love to check out the custom metallic color because modders tend to forget of, you know, how to make this work. And obviously that's not happened with this one. You can see that all three colors are working, which is really, really good. So which one am I going to choose? Well, that's really hard because all of these are very nice. Um, I'm going to go with... Oh, man. Uh, let's... let's. Yeah, I, I don't know. See, it makes it hard. Let's just go with this one. We'll paint that red. We'll go... Uh, let's see. White. Oh, yeah. That's starting to look nice, isn't it? Black. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's looking very nice, isn't it? Yeah. That's very nice. If we could have made that gold, that would have even looked better. So, yes, go away. Thank you very much for adding me as a friend. <laughs> All right, so there's our color there. Uh, now let's have a look at. Uh, let's have a look here. My apologies, guys, that I left my Steam on. Uh, my friends have popped up anyway. Uh, let's have a look at this little flap on the front here, and it's like a license plate. So, I love my trucks. Yes, I do. I love my trucks. I really do love my trucks. And there's many different options that you can go here. Four plates on there. You know, there's heaps. Um, I don't know. Um, let's just put Harley Davidson on there. Uh, let's put, let's put uh, Detroit Diesel. Let's put that on there. Why not? Uh, then over there we have... We have... What is that? Oh, that is there. There we go. That's these little plate things on the back here. And I'm not 100% sure exactly what they do. It says Briz Up. I don't know what that is. But anyway, uh, I think a mud flap attaches to that later on. So we'll have a look at that. Then you've got your flags there if you do heavy haulage. And I do wish this would not keep moving on me. It's driving me nuts. Your bumpers. You've got some bumpers here. A few different kinds of bumpers. Uh, there's a rough and ready off-road one there. Then we've got a few different other old school types. And, I mean, it really does suit this truck, I think. All of these these bumpers. And there we go. There is a more modern looking bumper, which I actually like that. I think it looks really good. Now, down here on the accessory slot, you can go and put on lights and stuff like that. Go for your life. Um, you can see that there is many, many, many different lights that you can put on there. Not going to worry about it now. We'll have to do that another time. Uh, light covers. So you can have light covers. And this one here, which I don't believe I've ever seen before. Something very new. It basically looks like it's sleepy, doesn't it? Oh, I'm sleepy. Oh, I'm having a bit of a sleep. Never mind. That's fine. You can do that. And um, let's go and have a look. Um, I'm just going to put those ones on there. I like them. Now, uh, up the top there, you can see that there are some little lights. Let's have a look at those. They do work nicely. Very good. And then we've got three and four lights that you can have on there. So we'll just leave those on there. Then uh, we have a uh, mudguard. So it's a low or high. Just on the front there, you can sort of just see it there. There we go. I'm going to put on the low. Let's leave it at that. Uh, then we have a little cover for the front. If you're in winter, you generally need one of these. But here in Queensland, we would never, ever see one of these. Uh, very, very rarely, actually. I have seen one. I, should, I, I will admit I have seen one. But yeah, very rare do you see those here in, Austra in Queensland, let alone Australia or anything. Uh, mirrors on the side there. You can have mirrors on the side. Look at that. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Uh, hood ornaments. Uh, oh, that's grill. More like a grill on the front there than a hood ornament. So, um, there you go. And you can have handles and uh, like a, what is it? A hood trim thing. I think it's a, a swan. I don't know. Just the handles and the grill. And then you can have the uh, swan and the grill, a uh, swan and the, and the handles. Or I'm just going to chuck on all of it. Why not? Looks good. Uh, up the top there, you can have your bug shield. Different colors, which is really very good. Yellows, you know, blacks, reds, whatever. 
no, not black, sorry, but you know, there's gray, green there, uh, another red. So there's a few different ones to choose from. I'm going to chuck on a red uh, and see how that goes. Now over there, there is the air cleaners. A few different air cleaners to choose from. And I like that one there. I really think that looks great. Uh, just going to spin that round there for a second. And just there is a little dot which allows you to put covers on. There's covers on the side there. And there's both. So I'm going to put both on. I think that looks really good. Now, uh, sorry, just zooming down here. It's a little bit awkward with all these things going everywhere. There's uh, painted for the side there, for the steps. I'll leave that on. I think that looks good. Then we have mud flaps down the bottom there. Very nice. If we spin it round. All right, there is, you can see it says Kenworth on there. Very nice. Now, uh, just on the other side here while I'm there is actually mud flaps again. And you can, well, that's as far as I can zoom in. You can't really see it, but you've got the Kenworth trim. You've got the Kenworth logo. You've got heaps of other logos, Cummins, Kenworth, heaps and heaps and heaps. There's cats, cat flaps, and Detroit diesel. So you've got a few there to choose from. I'm just going to leave the Kenworth ones on. Uh, now, what do we have over here? That's that again. There and what else was that? That was the uh, mud flaps. Yes, that's right. And then we have B Custom. What's that? Oh, that's right. It says fuck off on the side there. That's really nice, isn't it? On the step. So something very interesting added to the step, which I don't think you see in many other places <laughs> on any other mods anyway. Um, then we have mud flaps. There's mud flaps there. You can add a whole heap of lights along there. Um, other little things for your uh, you know, lights there to go on, which is really cool. And the lights that you can add on is just a few to choose from. Uh, again, not going to do that right now, guys. It will take quite a while to do that. So uh, we have to really cut through these. When If you like it, you can download and go for your life. So... Now, uh, there's uh, the tanks here that we're having a look at. Coloured tanks with coloured straps, chrome straps. Uh, you name it, it has it. And I really do like the chrome on the outside there with the chrome straps with the paint. I think that looks very nice on this mod. Very nice, which is that one there, I believe. There we go. Look at that. Very nice. Now, uh, the step there. You can add a step. Not sure why you'd want a step there, but anyway, you can add a step there. Uh, I don't know where that other one went. Went off somewhere. Right, oh, right side, both sides. There we go. That's what it is. Uh, I'm going to... I don't like that there. I think I'm going to take that out. Tools. Space for your tools. You can put your tool there. There you go. Uh, that looks really nice. I like that. Um, oh, there's an exhaust down there interesting now um what else do we have as we're going up here there is exhaust so while we're talking about exhaust we may as well have a look at them there's a couple of different kinds here it's a pretty big bullhorn type there's your open ones and there's your uh, mitered ones there's your massive well bigger ones bigger mitered there's your bullhorn uh, bigger bigger bullhorn ones there i think i'm just going to use those today they're pretty cool uh, what else do we have over here? Uh, see, I've lost all my dots again. I don't know. Oh, there, there we go. That's the exhaust. There's the air cleaners. Uh, over here, a steering wheel. For some reason, you can choose the steering wheel on the outside. I don't know why. But we'll have a look at that when we're on the inside. And there's a driver's plate. There's a GPS. Uh, there's seats. Now, the seats are a good idea to have a look on the inside. Uh, but we're just going to quickly flip through here different colors you can use. So you can see this is a nice wide range of colors. Look like some beige leather ones there. That looks good, doesn't it? Uh, red and beige leather. Oh, that looks nice. Uh, let's have a look at the dash here. You've got different colors for your dash. You can't see it, so we'll have a look at that later. There is the dash again. There is, uh, what's that? Tinted stripe. Oh, there's a tinted stripe on the bottom there. We'll have a look at that later. Co-driver's plate. Sun visor. There we go. Sun visor. Now, this has a nice amount of sun visors. Some 
practical, some not so practical, but they look good, which is the main thing. So there you go. There's some pretty cool ones. Uh, which one to choose? Well, I think I'm going to choose that one. It's sort of along my lines of I like to have a practical sort of look. Uh, then there's the lights up the top there. You can have little covers over the top, which is really interesting. I like that idea. Very nice indeed. Uh, then we've got room for the horns, different horns. Your uh, open ones, closed ones, double horns, uh, double closed. So I'm going to put those double closed ones on. They look good. Uh, air conditioning. Most essential, especially here in Queensland. So I'll put that on. Uh, then there is slots for lights. You can have slots for lights down the side there. So you can put those on. Sleeper. Uh, that is color sleeper or chrome sleeper. Very interesting. I do like the color one better though, but that is personal choice. Mirrors. You can have mirrors. If you want to have those extra mirrors on top, you can. Uh, I'm just going to leave it with the standard ones. I think too many mirrors might be a bit of a problem. Your interior. You can change your interior, which we'll have a look at later. And there is a logging grill for if you've got a day cab that one's for you'll want to use that uh, for logging so there we go uh, there's the step there's the tank I think we've had a look at all that there's tools there's that there now let's have a look at the rims the rims and tires on this are the standard rims and tires so nothing overly exciting there but you can go and add on your own sort of rims and tires that you want to have on there um, a lot of people like to use mods for that which is fair enough i agree because good nothing really does for me nothing's better than a good set of alcoas uh now over here on the rear that's the same thing and we're just going to put on just a set of standard chromes with a set of standard chrome nuts and i'm just going to leave that cover there same for the back here standard cover standard chrome nuts and there we go that's fine that'll do now now let's zoom in a little bit here uh gonna try and put this work from the back to the front now there is your uh, rear tail lights you can go and add on rear tail lights there if you want but first just going to show you these panels so you can see there is a nice large choice of panels you can put on there um, i'm going to use this one today let's put on left blinker there and then we go down you can see there's a heap of different blinkers you can use uh, right blinker yep and then what do we have there uh, break we need break break there we go break and break and then break and break now over here I will go and put on reverse lights just on the end there accessory reverse lights there we go i think it's already got some on there but um that's how i want to have it anyway now uh if you want to have mud flaps you can have mud flaps and you just need to add on that there and then you can go for your life by adding in some different lights and stuff like that uh there is the mud flaps right there uh, as you can see they look pretty cool there's a few different choices there that you can choose if you want to have them i think in some places they are you actually have to have them so there you go uh what else we got here that is oh yeah that's the mud flap thing you can go and put lights on there but not now we just don't have time for that right now uh up the top there that is your uh that's your color wall or chrome wall which is interesting that you can do that something new again uh that is your antennas love antennas they go great exhaust again there's your exhaust uh a plate what was that again that is the bat plate it says bat plate i need to remember what that is there is a little hole i noticed there in the in the tank oops just there so that's a bit of a shame maybe there's some way that we can actually fix that with the because it's not uh not there but no oh no sorry that's not that's a reflection sorry guys that's just how how chromey it is the reflection it's not a hole at all my bad i do apologize uh then we have there's the mud flaps there uh there's the exhaust 
There is the antenna. You can go and put an antenna on the mirrors. And there is the main mirrors. You can choose that as well. Um, you can see we're really making a nice truck. It looks really, really good. Uh, that is... That is... Oh, that's your uh, mud flaps on the front there. Uh, exhaust again. Main mirrors and antenna. There you go on the side there. So looks very, very nice. Guys, if I have missed anything, I do apologize. I try to get all the dots that I can. Uh, however, there could possibly be something that I have missed. Uh, otherwise, just say in the comments that it was missed and so other people will know. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, up the top here, there's the main mirrors. And just over here, we have the GPS. Then we have uh, Sissel's Mega Pack does work with this. So you can go and add on a whole heap of Sissel stuff. There's the mirrors on the front there. Uh, then we have the bonnet, uh, the bug scoop, uh, bug deflector. Now, here's the interesting part here. You can go and change the seat color. See? Looks very nice. Uh, if we go all the way up the top and we have a look. There we go. There's some of these colors here. Very nice detail. I really do like that leather look. It's very, very flash. And there you go, there is the red one, is the one I would like to choose. Now, uh, over here, we're having a look at the, that's the mirror there. Uh, there we have the, that's that uh, uh, little transparent strip. I don't know, I, I'm not sure what it's for, but anyway, tint strip. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't like it, so I'm removing it. Then we have a sun visor, which you can see does change from the inside which is very good and hanging item from Sissel's mega pack here you can go absolutely nuts if you want uh, as you can see I there is the standard accessory pack which is not installed in this but will work with it there you go now what else we have over here that is a uh, tinted strip yes we already had a look at that thank you uh, that is the seats I don't know why it's up there but it is uh, if you want to change the color here, brown leather, red leather, and there's green and, and gray. I'm going to change that to red leather. Sort of, sort of gives that 70s, 80s look, doesn't it? Uh, there's the dash. You got standard dash, or it's a couple of different kinds of dash that you can put on there. And see, there's a block of wood over there as well that looks pretty cool for an armrest. Uh, what else we have here? That is a little computer thing, personal computer, dashboard computer. Uh, cans, drinks, that sort of thing. They sit nicely on there. Smokes, whatever you want to have on there from Sissel's Mega Pack. And um, what else do we have here? Co driver. And there is your um, covering for the side there. As you can see, there's red and blue and green and whatever else. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it on red because it matches everything else. There we go. Uh, up the top there, we have the mirrors. And down below here, we have got magazines or stuff like that you can put in there. But unfortunately, you cannot put in a dry, uh, a passenger, which is a real shame. That is definitely a, a, a shame. I would have liked to have seen a passenger in here. Now, there is down the very, very bottom, I almost missed it this time, uh, an area for you to put in extra items as well, you know, to clutter up your, uh, your stuff so you can put a bag in there or whatever baseball bat you know things like that work outfit r2d2 can go in there oh he, he's clipping so that's not very good uh no he's clipping too so there's no good christmas presents uh and i think i'll just go back to that bag that just looked yeah there we go that fits in there still clipping on the seat but anyway now uh that is pretty much it let's confirm this confirm thank you very much there's our truck doesn't that look schmick? That is a very, very sexy looking W900. Uh, let's do a trade-in on the last mod. Uh, can't remember what it was, but anyway, we'll do a trade-in anyway. Thank you very much. So you can see, if you remember from the last one that we did have a look at, this has got a significant amount of changes and, and updates uh, to the mod. So... I think that's actually quite good and it really does make a big difference uh, especially um, when it's been updated which a lot of mods 
uh, we, since we're starting to flick through a lot of these patches really fast, are starting to drop off now because they're not getting updated. So um, I'm glad that this one is. This is definitely a classic mod. It really is. So there we go. Having a look around here. Look at that on the side there. That looks really nice. Wow. And it's raining too, so... Oh, well. <laughs> the rain will stop. Right. Looking, looking around here. That's, that's actually really good. Now, one thing that we can test here is the actual oh i haven't got my track i my uh, track ir on which won't help uh we can test the wipers can't we while we're here so let's go and fix the track ir first there we go test the wipers while we're here so start her up and test those wipers oh look at that beautiful that works great that's just what we want now You can barely hear that for some reason. There we go. That's a bit better. It does sound very quiet. I'll see if I can turn that up a little bit. It is It is a bit quiet. It really is. So um, that's fine. We'll have a look at those engines in a moment. Now, uh, what, do we, what do we have to test? Let's have a look. We have to put the lights on. There we go. That looks great. Imagine those lights going all down the side. That would look really, really good. Uh, the horn. Very nice. Uh, what else do we have? The wipers work. Uh, let's go for high beams. Yes, they work. Flashes are working. Yes. Uh, what else do we have? Beacons. Don't have any beacons. Uh, drop axle. No drop axle. So that's fine. Um, look, we'll have a uh, spin around. We'll put those flashes on, actually. We'll have a look around the back here. Uh, zoom out a bit. And there you go. They're working quite nice. Ah, look at that. I've gone and messed up the tail lights, haven't I? Ah, well, no big deal. Uh, what about the brakes? Do they work? Yes, they work. Brakes work. And reverse lights work. Never mind. It's no big deal. Um, well, that looks really, really good, doesn't it? Okay, well, let's jump on the inside here and check it out. Oh, my track IR has gone all wonky. Wacko, Jacko, that's gone crack-a-delicious. Uh, that's where that's gone. That sounded really bad when I said that, didn't it? Don't, just, don't worry about that, kids. Seeing you being silly. Uh, now, one thing that I am going to do, going to go and push save over here as we save this before we get into the nitty gritty because this can be really nasty w900a thank you and then we go save now back out now uh let's try this we'll push the display and it it works yes that is great that is really really good uh, one of the things that you do find in mods a lot is that if you push display, it crashes the game. So, I'm glad it doesn't do that in here. Turn those flashes off. Um, it does look very nice. However, look at that shifter down there. It's glowing. It's glowing like a neon light. Is it meant to? Let's have a look. No. See, it's not meant to. I thought if we turn the lights on, um, you know, it would turn the lights off, it'll stop. But have a look at the dash here. That is actually really, really nice. It looks like an old school truck, doesn't it? There we go. That's really good. I like it. Let's uh, back it up now. And we will take a look here at the other engines. Right. Sounds good, doesn't it? Sounds really good. Listen to that. There's the there's the uh, good old banana break there. <laughs> Very nice. All right. Let's check out some of the options that we... Um, uh, the engines. Let's check out the engine. That's what I was going to do. 
forgot what I was going to do. So there's the other 8V there. I'm going to quickly just confirm that and check that. Why not? There's not a great deal of engines in this to choose. So let's start her up and check it out. So yes, it does sound the same. But still, that's a good sound. Sounds really, really good. Now over to the Caterpillar. And let's check that out. I'm wondering if these are Creech Bum sounds. They're very, very... They're very quiet. That's the only thing. Oh, you can hear them nice and loud inside. There we go. Let's uh, jump on back in there again and check out that other engine. And big cam. Let's see if this is a big cam. Now, we all know what a big cam sounds like. And uh, it is lumpy. So let's check it out. Oops. Did I break it? I did. There we go. That actually sounds a bit louder. Alright, so I'm going to leave this one in here. And we'll go take it for a test drive. Let's go see how she drives. Sounds good, looks good. And uh, turn those wipers on again. And look, it seems to steer really nice. You know, there's no major issues with the steering. It's turning nicely. It seems to be, you know, accelerating nicely. And it, it's just nice to drive. So, which is really good. Um, there is one thing, though. That mirror needs to come out a bit more because I cannot see the mirror properly. So, that's a bit of a problem. I'm going to turn right on red here. And off we go onto the highway. And it seems to be struggling a little bit with power, so maybe a bit of a, a bigger engine or something? I don't know. But it is an older truck too, so... But look, this is driving really nice. And it seems to be that the sounds are nice and a little bit quiet in some cases. But it seems to be quite good. Let's uh, check on that banana brake again. There you go. That's it there. Well, guys, this is definitely interesting, isn't it? Um, it's an oldie but a goodie that's been revamped and I have been assured that all credits have been given to the correct people which is what we are looking for now in mods okay so if it hasn't got the correct credits given we pretty much don't want to look at it anymore okay so that's all that modders really ask for is that you either that you ask their permission and that you um, then give them credit for what the work they've done which is fair enough really it really is so um that's pretty much it for this mod review guys if you would like to download this mod and you'd like to have a go of it yourself the link is in the description so please feel free uh to take a look and um turn those wipers off and uh, guys, look, it's um, definitely worth a go. I really do like it because it's not crashed the game, which is the main thing. And it drives nicely, it handles well, it looks great, and it sounds good, except for a couple of those softer sounds there on the outside. But that's uh, minor things that they can easily fix and hopefully in future updates. But uh, that is it for me today, guys. Look, I hope you enjoyed this mod review. If you like this video, then don't forget to punch that like button in the ass and if this is the first time you've seen junior senior gaming then make sure you head on over to the junior senior gaming channel on youtube and check it out and while you're there why don't you hit that subscribe button 
But until next time, don't forget to keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down. And I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on.